Okay, bastards, we've had to pay for ours. Right, listen, first show was great, it's going to be even better now. We've got James McFadden. <laughs> the best transplants in Big Kev's tit job. Fucking <laughs> twat, honestly. I was sitting there playing football, what's he like sitting there? You're all looking at me, you're all looking at me. I know what you do, but I was sitting there, well, I asked him or I don't ask him, and, and I didn't, and I got fucked again. I, I, I need to say, by the way, I don't think you could polish your tongue, but you're looking fucking brilliant. I'll tell you what, I, I, my wife says, did he do anything? I said, just get my right fit, put it in the bed, and if you like it, I'll go with it. So, fuck knows. <laughs> <laughs> right, now listen, last time we kidded on that Slaney wasn't going to be here and all that rubbish, but he's here. But he refuses to walk out with the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big, big, he's went big time now, so the only way he's going to come out is if on the count of three everyone shouts, Slaney shows where you push fit. <laughs> is everyone up for it? <laughs> right, here we go then, we'll see if it works. He's in that toilet before I came in, so I don't know what he's doing, but you ready? One, two, three, Slaney! I swear to God, no <laughs> and I tell you, the soap will be revealed as the show goes on. <laughs> Is that an infant soap? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're two shows in, and we've already got a bigger crowd than Hamlet and Akis. Uh, right, just a wee bit about the last show. <laughs> Fucking tremendous, wasn't it? It was really oh. good. Uh, Slaney was flirting, kissing with the audience. And I hope for that happens again tonight. <laughs> Kev, Kyle and Gary Locke were flirting and kissing each other. Uh, but Kev, you said he was a, a shite ghetto, so he's a still in the spickin'. <laughs> Aye, Locke obviously on the back of that, he, he invited me up to the Hearts for a year and we kissed and made up. And oh, did you? It's just a love-hate relationship, sorry. Uh -huh. Locke offered absolutely nothing last show. <laughs> Carried that man through the full show. <laughs> Not a problem. But have you been keeping up to date with young Paul's progress? He's doing great. I'm a superstar. Home. There's He's no point in lying. Lived up to the billing now. February when he was 16, he was always going to be the next big thing. Yeah, it's the took the him a while. Some said. It's took him a while, but he's finally made it. You weren't interested in what? That, that life. I, I always believed that I would be <laughs> the biggest character. We can laugh all you want. I will be the biggest. I will be the biggest superstar this country has ever seen. By the way, you say that you were billed as the next James McFadden, but I also heard rumours that he was the next Stephen Cregan. <laughs> He's actually a worse pundit than he is a player, and I don't know how that's possible. He was absolutely pissed. <laughs> Have you ever enjoyed doing something as much for the first time? Oh, honestly, that show... I, I just come along with my stupid accent and just fucking... Very just go, fucking stupid. Hit a man, Simon. Remember where you're from? Is it the second or the... Second! <laughs> <laughs> second! It's on the 22nd! Right, we've got James McFadden, as we said. A legend. And I don't know if you know, but James McFadden is a Tenants Golden Can winner. Faddy, have you got it? Yes. Right, Look at that. We're in that pause for Faddy. I know a lot of people have got this. What did you get it for? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I think it was uh, services to football. I think they looked to do something a wee bit different and uh, grateful that I got it. Well, I know that's not going to be the best golden thing you've ever received because Slaney's got a golden shower waiting for you back in Susan Sink. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'll not tell you. Um, up there with the winners including Martin Comston, Jamie Genevieve, Biffy Clyro, Irvin Welsh and Sam Hugan. 
Who the fuck, fuck is, is that? that? <laughs> Sam Hugan. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> I beg why you are you talking about? I beg the question to why have you not had a golden can of monsters? So <laughs> Forget the, the golden um, can of monster or the golden can of tenants. We are talking globes, Sai. Uh, that is golden what, globes. <laughs> that is what we certainly are aiming for. Um, and see now, let me just say this. I'm getting a bit pissed off. <laughs> let me just say, forget the hydro. Forget the hydro. Oh, you passed the hydro. I'm right? interested in that pish. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we're going to be stadium, stadium sellouts now, Sai. Is that big? Um, and there'll be a special guest coming very, very soon. Um, we can't reveal. Would you take James McFadden as a special? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, would you go to stadiums with this guy? Oh man, you could imagine what it'd be like. It's really, I, don't, I don't know if they take us. Sorry, we are, we are just. Uh, I'm telling you, the sign will well be coming. Um, what would we do? I need a lift there. <laughs> What he said over there, I don't know how Jerry Cinnamon can be Liam Gallagher's support act. Faddy's reply. He'd never be a support act in Airday, says, and I says, well, you're fucking doing it very well for side. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man. He's a main man. Tell me as well, you got your new 40 clothing. I'll tell you the story. Wee guy that runs 40 clothing, wee Harry, great wee guy. He, he messaged me saying, uh, you, Kevin Slaney, come in at 40 and I'll, I'll get you a couple of bits of gear. <laughs> Honestly, man, I've never seen somebody take this so much. <laughs> I got a jumper and a t-shirt. Came out about 120 quid. Slaney, what did you get? Well, let me just say, I... I, 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 I Harry's went bankrupt, man. You only, you only get back because you're not wearing it. You're be well, let me just say, well, you're right, Faddy, because I won't ever wear that pish. Uh, <laughs> as simple as that, I do not wear 40 clothing. I only wear the best of clobber sight, as you know. Well, I'll tell you something. These shoes, I think they're about their 50th appearance of the season. For fuck's sake, I have, took, of pair of shoes. I have took the pitch right out of them. Uh, I'll continue to wear them. Kev, okay, we had a, a wee request for clobber for you today. Dorothy Perkins, interested. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, said, I'm fucking the tail of the thumb in there. 120,000 views on fucking Twitter, and that's you, you're slotting in there. Made a, he's made a big um, impact in Twitter, okay, Kev, is it? Oh, oh, by the way, we need to talk about you on Twitter. 10,000 Well, followers. forget that, because I was trending last night on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> the first guy I know even how Twitter, and I run Twitter. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right, on to the pit box. Obviously, we've got James McFadden here, Scotland legend. Um, Tenants, long-time supporter of Scottish football and were the sponsors of the national team during the joy and heartbreak of the Euro 2008 qualifying campaign. <coughs> was that your favourite period in a Scotland jersey? Um, I enjoyed every part of it, to be honest. Um, you remember your first call-up, Faddy? My first call-up, aye. Like, Buzzing? I was delighted. Who phoned you? Uh, Eric Black told me he was a manager in Motherwell at the time. I think it was like one of the future squad. Where was it, was it no Richard? Remember Richard Simmons? <coughs> Richard phoned, I was training. Hey, Richard. Aye, we Richard. I was on the way out of training. Uh, Eric Black came up and says you've got a call up for the biggest trial match ever seen. Was that one of the Thistle? No, there was a. a, like a Are trial you used to should have got this story right before you came in. There. <laughs> <laughs> to be as, as you learn, he I couldn't remember. Be, fuck all. I couldn't remember him. Honestly. Did you, go, did you, did you go to New Scotland all right? Who do you? I think we did, I. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, he was obviously the, the up and coming next big Golden thing in Scotland. Boy, was he was, I just had a bath up fucking thing in the back of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you not say you were Bertie's boy though until. I was Bertie's boy. Well, that's where the first and, 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 right? and then, and then, like, I was, everybody was called by their second names with Bertie. And then James came along. James this, James that. Just give everything to James. <laughs> Mate, so, let it go. Let it's been 17 years, it's hard. <laughs> we'll get to Bertie Votes. Slaney wants to say a bit about him as well, but what was it, what was it about Scotland that you, you enjoyed so much? <coughs> Obviously, playing for Scotland is very boring. I know this is meant to be fun. Not at all. No, I apologise. Um, just the privilege of playing for my country. I loved every time that I get called up. I think the... The years, up until maybe the last five or six years, I would say it meant a lot to, to be called up and meet up with Scotland. You were looking forward to meeting up with, I know Big Kev can't remember, I do remember he was a good big guy. Um, and it was, it was good banter, he had a good banter with a lot of guys. Because a lot of the, a lot of the players played in England as well, so the, you know yourself, the banter is a bit different in England. Mm -hmm. So you look Kish. forward to coming back. <laughs> 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 did, 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 it used to, did it used to annoy you when guys like Kev were getting called up? 
Did you start ahead on? Well, what's the whole He can't even remember. <laughs> I don't know, no. I just, um, my memory's terrible. I don't even know why I'm on this show. Um, I don't are. fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just joking, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, mate. Brilliant. But, uh, right. <laughs> Faddy. That's a fucking midget socket. <laughs> Oi, right, talk us through the goal, Faddy. Franz, I know you're sick of probably talking about it, but talk us through it. Do you ever get sick of talking about that goal? I do. Do you? Do you actually? Do, do I really need you? Right, go for it, mate. Come on. What I know. <laughs> did you know KC when you played? Did you just think, fuck it, I'm trying this? No, well, I've said this before. In training, the night, every time you go away to the opposition, they used their own balls, it was Adidas balls and they were all just a wee bit lighter so in training the night before they were flying everywhere and I always thought if I get a chance to shoot I'm going to shoot and the first half it was all discipline, chasing, running and I, I never really got a chance to get a shot away and I was absolutely fucked, I knew I was coming off, <laughs> I knew it was time, nearly time to come off so I thought right I need to get my shot away and I just get the chance to shoot, I hear Fergie moaning, slaying his mate I hear Fergie <laughs> moaning at me, screaming at me to pass it, even after I've hit it. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? And the keeper's made an arse it, thankfully, and that's why the golden can's sitting right there. Oh, who, was the, who was the keeper? Was it Fartice? No. no. He wouldn't have got anywhere near it. Do you think you should have saved it, Sonny? No, well, I, I can't. It was, it was, it was my favourite. It's my favourite goal of the history of watching football. Um, <laughs> Wait, your favourite goal of the history of watching football? <laughs> Is that right? No. <laughs> but I never actually seen the goal live because. Oh, tell them what you were doing. Genuinely, wait till you hear this by you. That's it. I, I hope people. I, I, mean, I said the comment that ninety five percent of the stuff is lies, and I, I, I kind of well it is, but this is the truth, and genuinely is the truth. Me and my brother for the the years uh, one to up till we were ten to twelve. Why no one to twelve? We don't like that. Say that. <laughs> we. <laughs> Then you bought a meme sometimes, what? <laughs> um, we used to play um, something called Naked Barman in the bath. <laughs> so the two, my ma used to say, right boys, go up the stair and get a bath. And the two used to go up the bath, ball it naked, as you do in a bath. And we used to play Naked Barman. So he would go up one side of the bath, I'd go the other. We'd fill up wee glasses with different shampoos and we would pass it out to each other. So at the time you scored, my dad shouted up. Um, I think I was pouring him a wee drink to bath at the time. <laughs> Was, uh, that, was that a wee push or a, a wee surprise for him? <laughs> so I two ended up uh, running ball up the down the stair to, to, see her, to see the goal and the two of us ended up on the dad's back jumping about celebrating your goal and it was one of the, seriously though, it was, it was one of the best nights I'm trying to work you out, you'd have been about 18 when Faddy scored <laughs> 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 did uh, did your dad ever try to wash your hair with his suit on? <laughs> <laughs> did he ever try to wash his horns with his suit on? <laughs> well, that wee guy, uh, since I said that, <coughs> told the story about him ruining my Saudi career. That, uh, since that's happened, his life has been ruined and I'm so happy of that. <laughs> Kev, you remember where you were when Faddy scored that goal? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I remember when, where I was when Gary Colville scored that goal against Italy. <laughs> that was Franz, I told you that earlier. Was it <laughs> <laughs> right there, were you? I, I honestly don't know. For fuck's sake. I, I honestly genuinely don't know. I told you to Google it and it would have, it would have come back to me, but I, I really don't know. But it was a great goal. Since I've been, and this has been a wee serious side to me, since I've been uh, um, living side, uh, it's my favourite Scotland moment. Um, 100%, I don't think there's anything apart from James Forrest going the hat-trick. Um, <laughs> that sort of thing that touches it. Who, who was good lads in that Scotland team? They were all good. I think that's the difference. They were all... It was before the... Sounds like it was fucking ages ago, but before social media, your smartphones, all that, players actually spoke to each other. Mm. They all sat, played cards, big man, but provide a, a fair few laughs at the cards as well. And, we sat as a squad, we got to know each other. There was no divide with Celtic and Rangers, it was just a squad together that wanted to, to win and do well. Does that annoy you now? <clears throat> it annoys me that the players don't know how lucky they are and they don't know that <clears throat> it can end in an instant. It, you're, you're, 
you're always on a trip and you think, ah, don't worry, forget about the result, we'll get it the next time. There's no always a next time. And mm -hmm. at one point it stops and that's it. You stop getting asked back. Whether it's injury, whether you're no good enough, whether it's a new manager, it stops and you think it's going to last forever. So it annoys me that they don't realise how lucky they are. Yeah. Um, but Gary, we I interviewed Gary Naismith today. He's tremendous, by the way, brilliant. Uh, he says his biggest regret still in life is that he never made 50 cats for Scotland. 47 he made and he says <coughs> played forever in the Premiership, Liverpool, Derbys, but he says no making 50 cats for Scotland kills him and he thinks the same, but doesn't mean enough to players now. Eh? I don't get dodged at all, eh? Would it mean, uh, would it mean a lot to you? <laughs> would not get too fast. <laughs> <laughs> would you have him in the squad, Faddy? I would be great in the I squad. I wouldn't though. play him, but I'd have him in the squad. <laughs> That's what I swear to God, uh, that, no word to lie here. When I was doing it at MK Dons, I, I had barely played, I was hopeless down there. And um, <laughs> Carol Robinson, the manager, came up to me and went, um, I said to him, I said to him, Carol, uh, Gaffer, I'm thinking about leaving. He went, no, don't do that. He went, just stay for your banter. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I didn't want to leave. I just, say, I just said it so he would say, no, we need you a big part of the team. And he went, no, it's time for a part. So, he was hopeless as well. By the way, we all get two tickets for this. Every, every single person on here gets two tickets. Um, you were meant to give your... Willie Cotton, he's not here. Willie Aye, Cotton. we Willie and Johnny. <laughs> By the way, there's rumours so, rumors going about that since you've started slotting them, we Willie's turned into a goth. Right, he is. He's the, the youngest golf in history, is it? <laughs> Him and Johnny are certainly um, two golfs. Um, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> They're great guys, the two of them. We, we went for the dinner um, last did you, week. Did you straight out? No, we did. I took him for dinner because I said, listen, when we're on that, don't. I think people get now, there's no badness. Um, so we took them for dinner, but. Where'd you take the them? problem was, uh, was it was, kids' meals? There wasn't any, uh, was it the high chair for wee Willie? So I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I saw that. It was a lovely wee night. Uh, right, bad, Faddy, back to Scotland. Uh, if that Scotland team had got through, they qualified into the crew, then alright. Good team, innit, Barry? I do. Fergus and yourself, Dan Fletcher. I do. I think Who were the top players? The two you mentioned. Um, you I think mentioned? we were a, a really strong team. Barry Ferguson was ridiculous. Such a good football Best player. Best player on the team? Fad, was he better? It might sound stupid, but was he was he better than Fletcher? No, that doesn't sound stupid. It's just Does a it proper not? question. We'll all take you serious at some point. So. I, I think when you look at what Fletcher's done, obviously his career speaks for itself. Playing in that Man United team, the 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 run they had to win the. Champions League, the game against Roma, never forget the tempo he set and what he done, he was a brilliant teammate. I think when you played, you looked for Fergie to control the game. Would he take know, the ball anywhere? He'd huh? take it. If you didn't game it, he would absolutely slaughter you. If you didn't pass him the ball. You play the game as well, You're similar to that, though, aren't you? Like, you, you? You can monitor players as well, though, can't you? Like, you've got that <clears> sort of... Are you wearing um, one of these face... I'm <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that must not even be a fair snap. That's just the demand you expected after people because. Top players, aren't it? That's, I, what, that's, what, that's what I find when, I, when you talk about Fergie. When I went to Scotland, I was pure shit scared of Fergie. Well, you're, you're right. He, he tried to date me, he and I told him to fuck off. <laughs> I ain't scared of no. I'm on big ball. I would love to see him with Fergie, man. <laughs> I swear, I'll be phoning the guy, Dennis, get that out of his way. Did you not know, sit next to him on the flight? I did, I. Uh, we were going to play and after that, an away game, and uh, he was sitting at the front of his own. I thought, fuck, I'll go and sit beside Fergie. And uh, we sat down, and the plane was just about to take off, and I brought out my phone just to check see if there was any messages. He said, like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, sorry. Jing, that was Fergie, eh? He says, what are you doing? I says, I'm, I'm just checking to get that fucking phone off. You're flying. I says, I need more, Fergie. Put my phone down, never fucking touch the phone. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hong Kong trip. Faddy, what happened, man? You, you missed the point. Kev, you were there. I was, uh, uh, and... Lady uh, boys, sorry. No, like I said, I said to Faddy over there, like, that's 17 years ago. Oh, so you and Faddy were having private conversations over there? Well, we did invite you, but no, you just wanted to be talking to the fucking head, oh, right, right, right. Go and tell us then. Uh, no, 17 years ago <laughs> it happened, and... To this day, I still don't know what happened. I don't know Kev why. Kev didn't even know I was on that trip. No. <laughs> I don't even know why he didn't turn up. 
oh, Bertie kept passing us, where's James? And I thought he was in your room, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you say 17 years or 17 stone ago? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 17 years is out of your fringe. <laughs> right, Faddy, what happened? How did you miss the fight? Tell us. I don't think you've actually ever told the true story. I have told the right, true go, story. I had a, a right good night out and I missed the fight. What, what, what were you thinking when you missed that fight, though? Shine yourself. I shut myself because I got to the hotel. I didn't sleep in the hotel. I'll give you that much. Got back to the hotel and and everybody was away. I knew that I'd missed the bus because whatever time it was, I'd missed it. So I thought, fuck, I'm here myself. I'm stuck in Hong Kong. I'm 19. I have not got a fucking clue what I'm going to do. And the, the security uh, guy had waited back for me and thank, thankfully he did. And Mate, it's I, a great story. To well, I've, got, I've got another part of it. When we landed at London, the press had seen me sitting and they were like, because the press flew after the team. So that killed me because if they didn't, then they'd be oh, the fuck fun yeah. out. So they were in Hong Kong airport, they're looking at me going, what the fuck's happened here? And they come up with some story to say, oh, it's alphabetical order, there's a mix up with the bookings and all that. So he made an asset. Anyway, when I landed in London. What's it is? Okay, what's it is? It's brilliant. <laughs> when I landed in London, the, the security boy that was with me came up to me and says, look, you're going to speak to the press, you're going to tell them what's happened. Just apologise and, and we'll just move on. And I was like, right, okay, I don't mind. He says, there's only three or four, it's fine. He says, so I walked through the doors and as I, the doors opened, there was fucking about 40 cameras, loads of people, and I went, oh, for fuck's sake. He says, I'm just a wee guy from Motherwell. All I've, I've done is miss a flight. I fucking shit myself. And it was the time that Roy Keane had <laughs> told Mick McCarthy to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so I was fucking delighted when I saw Roy Keane. Right, can I pour a pint here? Hang on, you go, let's see it. You be oh, you better get this to used to this, because this is what you'll be doing next year. How did I do that? Right, let's see it. No. Oh, 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 oh. Pull, Wait, pull. You need to show him. You can't tell him my I fucking ain't. angle. I ain't pulling no fucking Oh, you, you told me you were an expert at pulling some. You can do. You an expert at pulling? Oh, <laughs> 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 Right, yeah. Kevin and Faddy also played with each other against New Zealand at Tynecastle. Both were involved in goals that night, but for different reasons. Here's two match reports. Two bits for the match of fucking out of order, isn't it? Unbelievable. Sorry. Mate, I don't, I've not wrote this, no, Kev, by the way, so I'm not coming for you. Who did who, 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 the Motherwell forward earning himself promotion for the Germany tie with a slick display. It was me that wrote it. Which included the 13th minute corner swing into the near post for Crawford in front of the Kiwi goalkeeper. Crawford? To her down and in. He Stevie didn't Crawford. even. He, he don't Stevie like, Crawford? Aye. He didn't Fuck even. That's a bad He went straight! <laughs> Here's Kev's on Kevin Kyle. Ryan Nelson and Gerard Davis both might have cancelled out Stevie Crawford's opener before the former skipped away from the ponderous Kevin Kyle and onto Aaron's line free kick to sweep in from close range. Why, why did you not play well against the two? What was it, nerves? Just fucking... Just one of the days. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> Just turned up, fucking... We, we got to the hotel, we drove in a bus to an island, then we got a boat to another island and then we jumped in the bus to the park. And then we thought, oh, it's only three days, I'll beat these comfortably. And we didn't. <laughs> the best bit about it was when Bertie, Bertie put up a picture of, it, of Portugal on the dressing room. This is where we are going. And I thought, fucking I, all inclusive for 350 per person. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, not a chance. So it wasn't it absolutely class? It was not absolutely <laughs> class. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually getting famous, that's it. Well, we, we are going to start selling merchandise. Yeah, Jimmy will be mil... What's it like to be a millionaire? It's funny, what is it like oh, to be a millionaire? Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's going to be amazing. Billy, wait, wait, wait. Craziest millionaire ever. By the way, have you seen Faddy's house? It's unreal, eh? I've seen it. Is it class? Are you still getting David no, Class in it? Clean it twice yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> Clarky, what's up, dude? <laughs> Bye, another celebrity in the room, David Clarkson. What a guy. He's Clarky, a like... give us a wave. Yes, what a man. Uh, you're going to the gym with him these days, aren't you? Aye. 
What's he been doing? <laughs> 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 you got a gym in your house? No. He's got a cinema. No, have no. Have you? No. Watches open go on the cinema. Could, you, seriously, Jamie could be millionaires, though. <laughs> I can't see how we won't, eh? I thought you won. <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing. Can Slaney stay at your house, buddy? Can I stay at your house a couple of nights? <laughs> no, I'm not even going to joke and say aye, just in case you turn up at my fucking door. <laughs> and what will you spend your first million on? <laughs> that would just go crazy, just, eh? Just bring your passport. <laughs> Where'd you go bring back your to flip the <laughs> Right, uh, Faddy, what was Big Kev like in the dressing room? Was he funny? He was funny. What's he happened was. then? <laughs> Kev, I'm kidding you, are funny, alright? I'm only joking. Right, how, was he good or how? I said we had a, we had a good uh, squad and it was a good laugh. We'd play cards and sit and just have the, the usual shite banter. Big man was hopeless at cards. Could always tell when he was... Oh, he's hand. very hopeless at cards. He knows he had that. a strong hand. Couldn't, couldn't hide it. Oh, fuck Play three cards. Big, big man's like, like I'm blind. <laughs> blind. Blind. <laughs> fuck it, I'm going to look. <laughs> 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 I'm open. <laughs> yeah, who, see, in your Scotland squad, who did you, who did you know like, or who was the ones the boys didn't take to? Great, 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 great question. Great question. Great 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 I'll tell you in a minute who I kind of stand for the squad, but we'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> what, That's what, looking for the outside. I, this can't is. Wait I don't for know. This. What uh, squad? Just your whole time when you were together at Scotland. <laughs> or if you want to just say when you were there, because I don't know if you played at the glory days. No, I did. <laughs> no, <laughs> there was there wasn't. Many I didn't like, to be honest. Yeah, I got on with everybody. Um, Is that the truth? Aye. I, I would, I would, I, there was a lot of people I didn't like for, for reasons not personal. They were more down to like the demands they were trying to put on you. Like, see him, he was a fucking nightmare because his demands are so high that if you didn't play to the level maybe that he was at, or of expectancy that he had, he would let you know about it. He won the World Cup with Germany, didn't he? Uh huh. So what happened with Scotland, Faddy? Was he just? Was it the language barrier? <laughs> <laughs> I liked him. Are you saying a lot of people say for obvious it? reasons? But no, he was he was good. I think he came for a strong Germany team, and he had to rebuild a full team. All the all the players that had left under Craig Brown, you know, they they were used to getting the tournaments. They'd done well. They were all experienced. They were old, and and we bet they had to come in. And he did not care. If you qualify for Scotland, he wanted to see you. And that's what he done. He played a lot of players that he shouldn't have because they weren't good enough. But he had to do it to find out just how shite they were. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, you liked him as well, didn't you? Oh, fucking great guy. Was he, huh? No, honestly, like... He, like, Faddy summed up, he had to come from a team that qualified ageing players to, to then start again. So when you really look back at it on a... On a like a, a whole picture. He was the guy that brought James at Fadden Scotland. He was the guy that brought Darren Fletcher to the first team. So he had to try everybody. And at some points along that path, he did pick a dud. Like, I'm not going to say I was a dud because I got 10 caps, right? And at that time, I, 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 at that time, I felt I was better than what we had. Like, the only problem I didn't ha I had was, I didn't have a lot of first team experience with Sunderland. I got my debut for Scotland. I hadn't even started a game with Sunderland. So was that my fault? Not particularly. Um, in some games I did really well, in other games I did shit. Mm. That was a, that was quite a lot, like for a lot of the guys. But ultimately, we were going through a period of transition where it was very, very <coughs> difficult. We had guys at James, like Darren Fletcher. I was grateful enough to play with Darren in the the twenty ones, and he was an amazing guy. Like football character, everything for the team was it was was one of the best you'll ever come across. Darren Fletcher. Aye, but brown nose. <laughs> <laughs> but Barry, Barry, Barry had a very, very tough job and I think he was on a, a high to nothing. It was always going to end the way it did. By the way, he got to step play off, he's done the best out of all the managers. No, yeah, right, right, obviously, right. so right. we fucked that up in the you same way. Yeah, but, can I ask you both of you something just quickly? Is it the criticism you get with Scotland too much? No. It's just that's Is it hard to no, Is it hard to take hard. It's, it's, get, it's getting harder with the social media side of <laughs> it. I mean, would you just look at that, Fadi? Being honest, like you can't hide it. You can't hide yeah. it. I don't really do it, but somebody will say it to you. Oh, why? You why on did Twitter? I say I don't go on Twitter because. Can you imagine? What, imagine oh, you want to hear what they're saying about you? Right, Selena, you want? No, to I'm just. Me, I'm, I want I'm just fucking you. fuming because I tell you the now. As a country, and <coughs> if there's anything serious for me, please take this away with you. As a country, we must stop uh, knocking Scotland down. It just feels like we're dying to, uh, before they even go to a. Uh, 
a tournament. Mm -hmm. We want to put them down, and we want to slag the, the players and the coaches. Um, listen, I'm the first person to do it. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Here comes the Highland granny. Do me this in a hurry, funny. <laughs> This is on here, again, I've not got the questions. Barnets. Fadi, Kev sl slaughtered you for your barnet. What the fuck was that red thing? All of it. I was, a, I was a young boy, my cousin was a hairdresser. And boy or girl? Girl. Right. And what's that matter? No, it doesn't, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'll explain why you would make a difference. No, 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 I knew it. Oh, well, I loved it, mate. I was hoping it was a guy because oh, I thought he was creative oh, right. and well, I love all that shit. I remember playing against you. At me? Hamden. I was brilliant. Was under 18s and you had the worst barn. It was worse than that. <laughs> big long many thing, big wavy long barn. That's why I was a virgin till it's funny, mate. But I remember, Jim. It was good, though, wasn't it? Aye, I think good it was play. you anyway. Uh, um, good play. But no, I just thought, fuck it, why not? Just was it, was it, it to be noticed as well, a wee bit? No, I, no, I didn't. Believe it or not, I, did, I don't. I don't like that side of it. I'm no, don't crave attention when I play football. The way I play it is to my ability. My ability was to run at people because it was easy for me. Mm -hmm. That was the easiest way for me to play football. So it wasn't because I wanted to be a flair player or or stand out. I just wanted to do it the best I could do it. Selena, you were a young winger. What was your thoughts <laughs> when you, you got the ball? What? <laughs> you were a young winger, winger at mother, but what was your thoughts when you got the ball? You must um, be very direct, because I tell you one thing now, Faddy, and what's happening in the game is, I see the, uh, as well, I'm going to change it a wee bit, we, we used to do possession all the time in two touch. As a winger, if you take two touch and pass it back, you'll get whipped off. You must, when, when it's a 1v1, take him on. But do you know why you do that? So that your first touch is right. Ah. Uh, to take you forward. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Schooled, <laughs> boy. Schooled. <laughs> uh, 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 as you told me. Ah, that's me done. That could be the end of me. Oi. Listen, I don't, listen, I don't, listen, I'm, I'm not here for football at all. I'm not interested in football. I'm here for the attention. That's the only reason I'm here. Slowly. I don't give two fucks about football, to be honest. Do, do you feel sick? Physically, I will be the bone. I feel my ass is going to be sick. What was that? <laughs> what? Right, we're talking about haircuts. Kev, you've had an eight all over your whole life. What, uh, you've been quite trending on, by the way. The guy that caught here. Step forward, let's see you. Give us a twirl. Come on, get step forward. Give us a twirl. Yeah, he's all, I don't know why he's no cut his in. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy, this guy here gave us a free haircut and I fucking, my wife, honestly, she never had him last Did time. you get a bit? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid number five is on its way. Yeah! Oh! Wait, what's the worst band that you've seen? I need to say, Stuart McCall is the nicest guy I've ever met in my life, but... He looks like a lesbian from Possum. Slightly zero. I just see. I, I thought you were in a nice brush, you were going. My mate's actually called my mate. That, that's not a joke. My mate's actually. My mate's not a Stuart McCall. That's very good, Susan. That's very good. She's actually not. Oh, I've got my. Oh, I deleted it. See with the, the interview you've done, my mate. See this crack in your mind getting an interview with Stuart McCall. That's very good. Very shocking. Remember the Hibs boys, we deeks and all that. I don't think I'm in any position to judge anybody's haircuts. No, anyone else? Nah. <laughs> haircuts? You had that fucking ridiculous tag at the back. I actually hit it, it's even when I was younger, and this is new me. You were quite personal about that, eh? Listen, I don't know Sorry, where, what's happening again, eh? We listen when I speak. Um, when I was younger, side, si, when Sorry, I... Mate. Not a problem. I can see how his lips move him, I can't hear it. Is his mic broke? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying is, when I was younger, I used to always get crazy haircuts. So even back then, I was always craving attention, uh, and attention more, <laughs> maybe people say. But I went for the, even back, a half a haircut, side. Si. Yeah. That was probably well, my worst. Ronaldo, was that that? No, no. Back shave, no. Literally just shave one side and leave the other half. <laughs> and, my ma, and my ma dragged my arse back up to get it all shaved. Uh, so that was probably my worst. And are, you, are you happy with the band now? Well, it's, it's a sad day that my is receding um, and I'm trying to get the Shetland Pony look to come down <laughs> to hide it. I feel I'm doing a lot of talking Zeb Dells trying to take care. No, no, we are here. Facts. They're here for me, so why? <laughs> Oi, quick poll, hands up, who came here for Slaney? Get to fuck. <laughs> fuck off. And not one bug put their horn up. <laughs> Sick. 
<laughs> right, my favourite part of the show, Tommy Gravison, man. The best, honestly. <laughs> Fucking, how mental is he, Faddy? It's hard to... I mean, get slaughtered for There like, is, there is you know, a legend bizarre. surrounding him because of you. Uh, but he but is tremendous, isn't he? Uh, it's hard to describe. I mean, a lot of the things he used to do, you couldn't say. Because it just doesn't sound as funny as what it is. Uh -huh. he's, he's nuts. He was, the guy was nuts. He needed to know everything. You know, he, if you had a spot in your, your face, where'd that come from? <laughs> what is that? You're like... <laughs> Is that Brett? What was the one you choose to be fizzle? <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell the one about, then you, so Tommy had left Everton, you'd Tom, signed Tom, for Derby. Tommy was good pals with Lee Carsley. So Lee Carsley had a, a box at the game and he, the both of us were injured. So Tommy was at the game, so I went in to see Tommy and it was it. The, no, you went to see Lee Carsley? I see, no, I went to see Tommy because right, I knew okay. he was there. For a laugh. <laughs> and, uh, at St Andrews, they came out the corner. He played it. Had the corner of the so ground. So came out the corner, him. and as you walk up, the boxes are there, and there's a there's a tiny window. It's about you couldn't fit out it. <clears throat> so Alan McLeish is walking by, waving at the crowd, and Tommy's got up. He's like, "There's, there's, there's big, big Alex." <laughs> so he's got up, stood on the, the thing, opened the opened the window. He's like, "Alex, give us a game, Alex, give us a game, Alex." <laughs> <laughs> and me and Carzo were absolutely pissing ourselves because he was in between. I think he just left Celtic at the time or retired or whatever, but he was back and forth at Vegas, but he was What mental. about Andy, Andy van der Mede? He had to, he was so OCD, he didn't have any bills. He didn't, he had his what, phone bill. He, he, he didn't like, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. He used to <laughs> he'd drive a nice car during the summer and he'd buy like a Nissan my car or whatever for the winter because it was a winter car and you know that he had nice white winter boots boot. for the summer and he called his boots shoes and then he would get these, he was Nike, sponsored by Nike but he'd wear leather Hummel boots in training and he'd, he'd say, Tommy, what, what the fuck are they? And he's like, they're my winter shoes, lad. So he was, he was crazy, he had to know everything, OCD, so I walked in the dressing room, it was me and him and it might have been Lee Carza again and he says, uh, and the, you had your locker, we shelves, and it wasn't messy, but it was Andy van der Meder's wage slip was on the shelf, but it, was, it wasn't open. It was untouched. It wasn't open, it was just on the shelf, he'd obviously forgot it, and Tommy's like, he's left his wage slip. And I was like, oh, well, we'll get it tomorrow, it's fine. He's like, nah, nah I'm going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> You can't open it. It's not even open. If it's open, have a sneak peek. But you can't open it. He's like, all right. I says, you can't do that. It's just way too All right. I can't help it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> just left it. I says, what the fuck are you going to say to him? He says, I'll tell him I had to see it. Oh, mate, he's amazing. I say, mate, he's a lot like you. You need to meet him. I would love to meet him. And I think, uh, Faddy, we were talking about this earlier. I think, see, that uh, when the hydro happens, I think it'd be brilliant that he comes out, he comes out, he comes out, and then, I sprint out and we wrestle each other. No, <laughs> no mate, he's just strong. You're no one. Could You're he, no but one. Is, 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 is he? He could pin Big Kev. But easy, is he? Easy. See, <laughs> see if we were... Faddy, see if we were sitting here and he was here and I tried to wind him up or something, would, would he take a joke? No. Aye, he, he loves a joke, he mate. Would, he would take a joke, but I don't know how you would take his response to the joke. Oh, <laughs> mate, I used to... You have things harder. I'm the same, like, see warm-ups and that, mate, I fucking hate them. So I used to moan about warm-ups and he'd fucking grab me and go, Go work in Sainsbury's, <laughs> lad! <laughs> <laughs> he's a different, different guy. What oh, a player, amazing. by the way. What a player. I thought he head tennis, well. mate. Talk to me about the head tennis. Head touch, everything. Faddy, what do you think happened to him at Celtic? Like, how did he not get... I think he had uh, problems with his knee and, I, and it was in his head. He, he thought, yeah. my knee's gubbed. I can't run that extra yard. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I really thought it would have worked for him because he was, he was a brilliant player for us. He won games on his end and it's... You said you're gonna batter people on that, but I can't tell, fight. tell you cannot. No, but you can. You can fight, but you cannot punch. Can no, you? no, no, no. I, I honestly, genuinely, I, I would love to be able to, see, especially with the ladies here. I would love to be able to see I'm a hard man and can fight. I can't fight at all. I don't even actually know how to fight. It's crazy. In school, a, a boy um, tried to say it about me, and all I did, Faddy, was kick him. Right, just kick, kick him. And a wee fat guy at the, at the back side went, "Is that not getting any horns?" I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but actually, 
you still get this day, I, I don't know how to punch. See in holiday when you get the 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 boys for the the bo the boys for the Do you lick it? What? Do you lick it? Kicks it. I can't I can't actually I I punch like that. I don't know how to punch. Fazzy's face spring but he'll show you. Are you fucking buffy mother? No, I ain't no fame mother well. Right. It's going to get serious again, Fadi, we need to ask uh, Alex McLeish, recent developments, uh, how disappointed are you that the management team will not be continuing? No, I'm obviously gutted, it was a huge honour for me, I spoke about it earlier about playing for your, your country, it really meant everything to me and for when he asked me to be involved I couldn't believe it, I was absolutely delighted, enjoyed the time, <coughs> but you know, everything comes to an end and you've just got to deal with it. Right. We're nearly done, man. No it's fucking chance. We're here all night. <laughs> <laughs> right, Faddy, Slaney at Motherwell, you, did you play one? Well, we never, so let's move on. Right, no, 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 we never, no. we never. He came back... Uh, uh, he know came, the story ever, ever. He came back, when he left Celtic, he says, I need somewhere to... No, <laughs> right, right, right. That'll kill us. That'll kill us. So he came back to, to Motherwell to train to keep himself fit. Um, he, he, he was in the process of leaving Celtic. There were problems with his hip. He booked in, well, I told us he booked in for an operation. <laughs> he was a funny wee guy. Come in, he was so. You've been funny wee guy. Nervous. <laughs> a nervous, nervous person. Come into the no, Well, see when, he, see when he left Motherwell. There was still stories about him because of the type of guy he is. Right. And that obviously happens at a club, you hear about other guys. So he came in and there was a few big characters, big Michael Higdon was, was in the dressing room. <laughs> 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 and, and Slaney was actually scared to him. But I must say, I, I, when I was growing up, I was always a, a confident young fella with, with lots, of, lots of confidence. If you're confident, you will have lots of confidence. <laughs> but um, but at that period, even at, I spoke about it, even at Celtic, the, the last couple of uh, years or so, I, was, I became really nervous around people. Uh, my confidence is totally See, that's I, fucking gone. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, damp, damp the mood, but I was affected with my injuries. My head had completely went, um, and I couldn't be around people. Um, I still get like that right now. I don't want to be around people because I believe I'm much better than them. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, who would you like to see in a commandment? Any suggestions? Do you know what? It's actually quite, for the first time in probably commandment's history, it's quite an attractive job. Because mm -hmm. they've got. Um, it's not. It's not <laughs> a fucking call. <laughs> no, who's going to be go on Steve Clark? To be a fan, you, you, you're <laughs> not out of a job, so would you take it? No chance. Fad, do you want to be a manager? You want to be a manager? I, I think I'd. Because like you've, you've schooled Slaney twice and you've been coaching. <laughs> Would you not take no. a commandment job then? No. Why? And they what? They've never got to win the league, have mm. they? Right. There's it's only one bad. way uh, for commandment. <laughs> That's fucking dead. Uh, yeah. it's, an <laughs> it's, it's an attractive job for somebody that wants to no, get a bigger job. It's obviously built the club up and it's, it is an attractive job. It's a but it's also a very high-pressure job. job because of what Steve Clark's done. So anybody that comes in and heart, uh, command hearts, fucking hell, command he loves hearts, hearts. Yeah, he loves hearts. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, if, if anybody can finish command to finish bottom six, it's deemed a failure. Well, so, it's, it's a hard act to follow. Very, very, very hard. It's like when Slaney has a night off, who the fuck's going to replace this exactly. guy? Nick can. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, so wait, wait, what are you thinking, like lower league? Is that um, getting it? Well, listen, you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? So I've, I don't have a problem with that, I think. Uh, and I've enjoyed my time being an assistant. I think I'd be well suited to being a manager. And if the right opportunity com comes up, then I'll definitely look at it. Can you see all this assistant manager and coach? Rubbish, innit? You don't want to coach, you want to be the main man, don't you? I just think if you've got your own ideas, yeah, I'm not going right. to say philosophy or else Slain will fall off his oh, chair. We hate that <laughs> philosophy. We hate that philosophy. When you've got your own ideas, you want to put them across and you can't do that as much as an assistant. So, no, it's something I've thought about. Um, and I'd like to get a go at some point if, if it's the right job. Slaney, uh, Fadi's had his view on you when he played with you. How was Fadi when you went back to Motherwell? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Did he keep excellent. you the team? <laughs> excellent. Is that absolutely excellent? <laughs> In what way? Just the aura, the way he moved about. It's beautiful. I'm, I love how he lowers his voice. Go. I, he's just, That's I, his football voice, isn't it? He's a, a There's the daft voice, there's the... I'm speaking, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, Paul. No, listen, uh, I'm always, even the young kids, even uh, the young kids come through, my little, it's always uh, the, the, the tip to be the next McFadden. That's the, yes. the um, and they won't ever be. <laughs> Let's not tell lies. But Mate, won't. I don't know, I think Turnbull could surpass you, if I'm being honest. Nah, nah. Hey, listen, Turnbull is a great player and he will certainly will bypass you, and that's simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you happy that you came through at a mother realm instead of say like a Rangers? Faddy, can I just jump in there quickly? <clears throat> you can do whatever you like, mate. You're the star. Do you do you have a regret no playing for Celtic or Rangers? I don't have. But would you have liked that? Maybe that's the wrong word. Would you have liked to have? Um, I just uh, think was there an opportunity. <coughs> I had a couple of opportunities to go to Celtic and and Rangers, but no, I, I don't regret nothing in my career. I've speak about. I'm uh, glad I came through Motherwell. I'm um, because. I used to do what you want players to do, take them on every time, and it didn't work. Nine, ten, eleven times, it didn't work. It worked once, and people remembered that, and I was allowed to make the mistakes. Mm -hmm. When you come through at a Celtic, you're not allowed to make them because you have to go into a team that's winning every week, or most weeks, going for trophies, and you're not allowed to make the mistakes. You need to be know, a but better as, as a youth player. player. Surely you should be allowed to make mistakes. It's difficult to make them in a first team environment. if. You're trying to win games all the time. I'm not saying that you can't play a game and not make mistakes, but I used to just just play football and not really bother too much about making mistakes. I always thought I'll get by in the next time mm. or I'll, I'll score the next time. And it was a great grounder for me. <clears throat> I was delighted to make my first team debut and I would have been taking one appearance, honestly, I would have. And see, to get what I got in my career, I have no regrets in my career. See, see that you talk about there, you, know, you would try things and they might not work. But Nowadays, it, because maybe more so in England, the finance and, and, and everything's so serious, he was allowed to make mistakes because he'd maybe make 10, 15, 20 mistakes a game. <clears throat> and see that one good thing he did that he kept yeah, trying to do? Game. That's all we talked about. So see that shot he had against the, 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 the goal that's got in the golden can? He could have done that maybe 10, 15, 20 times in the game and I've said, fucking hell, is he going to stop shooting? But see that one time he goes in, that's, your, that's what you're remembered but for. Kev, and that, now kids are not allowed to be able to express themselves in the way that... <laughs> see what he done? See, now a kid at 19, he would have passed nah, it five yards. He the, wouldn't the, even do the, that the, shot. The, that's the what old, annoys me. The old school's coach would say, what the f what are you doing? Your, your mate's five yards away from you. And, and, and that's slowly, they're slowly trying to drive out everything that used to be good about Scottish football, that we've had some unbelievable players over the years from right back to Jinky Johnson who would just go and dribble past everybody to, to, to Fanny Day and what he did and to other players. Whereas now it's like we've got to play this certain way, this certain philosophy, this this is what you're supposed It's a lot of bullshit. Just let kids play football yeah. and enjoy it because see when you enjoy football, that's when you get the best out of people. Slain it, in it. Yes, good, are you? I'm scared of this answer, but do you agree with that? I was just showing my shoes up, I didn't listen. <laughs> uh, right, Fad, how are you enjoying the media things? Ah, I like it, I think it's... Talk to Chris Coleman's jackets. <laughs> how, how old is Chris Coleman's really? Style fit. Wikipedia <laughs> says that Wikipedia says 37, right? But he looks a bit sick. He's younger than that. <laughs> right, honestly, even I look better. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> Do you enjoy right, it? Yeah. How do you enjoy the media? <laughs> right, Fadi, 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 I know, Fadi, I know, he can't say anything. He can't no, say anything. I, I know he's, no, he's very not fashion conscious, Fadi, right? How, how <laughs> As you, you can see, how, how do you find it, like, keeping up with Chris Combs' jacket, seriously? <laughs> you must not watch me because I don't try and keep up. No, you, that's what I mean. <clears throat> I'm really yeah. quite stylish, mate. The wee, you did the wee two tone, don't you? The different yeah, jacket, the different. I like it. Again, I like to mix it up. That's coming for a very stylish man. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I'm a wee bit worried that you like what I wear. You get, do you know what I like about it? You get an argument, I like that. You stand up, like I heard you on with Michael Stewart on the radio and stuff like that. You're quite passionate, aren't you? Aye, I think yeah. if you're going to make stuff up, then I'll call you out on it. He'll, well... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, just keep, you just need to keep calling me out. Or apart from when it's harmless. But if you're going to make stuff up, then I'll say it. If it's, I don't agree with it, I'll say it. I just, I like to try and be positive as much as I can, and I don't like negativity. We're all speaking about bringing down the Scottish game or, or being negative. Just to, just for the sake of it, or just, just to, to get yourself a little uh, bit. I don't, I don't agree with that. I like watching games and seeing, speaking about what I've seen. So anyway, there's someone in here that somebody's put in because you went to the Star Sixes. Aye, aye. Oh no. What's going on? Did you not give Fanny a bit? 
I know, but Andy, listen, Andy McLaren trying to uh, he tried to put me in it and said that I said Fadi was hopeless. Listen, I would never. I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that, Andy. Thank. Oh, you still school, but my usual. I played six games. I turned up for one when it mattered. Exactly. <laughs> the England game. Do you know what the England game was fucking brilliant? What was the score? They won. Did it? Four one. Four. You beat them four one. You just taking it quite serious, eh? Who was it? Was it Fergie? Fergie. <laughs> Fergie. It was like. Phoned me, he says, right, we're doing this uh, star sixes again, you up for it? I says, I, I, I'll, I'll do it, how hard can it be? He says, what kind of shape are you in? I says, well, I've put on a wee bit of weight. He says, well, you'll need to get that off. <laughs> <laughs> he's still the same weight he was at this point, wasn't he? He's fucking hell, he's a break. He says, nah, he says, we went down to the O2 the last time. It was fucking embarrassing. Too many guys, couldn't they run about. That's no fucking happening this time. I've got to try and win it. And he's, he's, like, he's absolutely fucked though because he's, he's knee subs. Don't you know Aye, that? Aye, Fergie got injured. And McCulloch as well. Aye. And we bucked him. The two fittest guys. By the way, I need to say something. Lee McCulloch, he could be the best guy ever. Oh, what a guy. Yeah. Honestly, see, before I met him, how good the guy is Lee McCulloch? He's brilliant. I was his bit boy at Motherwell. Were well, you, yeah, huh? He was brilliant. What was he good with the young ones there, Faddy? He was a tight bastard. Was but, he? Aye, he was great with the. He was, he was good for the young boys. Um, Always uh, on the advice. He's just a good lad. He's a good guy, as you say. He's a really good guy. Yeah, top man. I went to his house tonight. <laughs> Did you? Oh, fuck, what a house. What, you and the wife? That's Keys, no, the, Keys the ball. That's a house. No, is that we, a house, we, no, we, we, we had a, one of the young goalies was under 21s at Rangers. It was an like, engagement party or something. And we said, Jigsy's on. We all got to my house first. And I was like, aye, and he was also rocked up to his house, pressed a button, fucking then drove a bit of mile down to his driveway. And into this cinema room, disco floor, fucking driving range at the back. Oh, that's a house. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm just leaning by you. Uh, he's, he's top man, to be fair. I even said that at the Heated Tennis. Uh, <coughs> I was having a laugh, no, but he, he was really, really, um, it was really good with me. That is me being beautiful for once. <laughs> but you would, you, you would have started the heavy Tennis. Uh, Kenny Brannigan, you and Kenny Brannigan are down. Kenny Brannigan. <laughs> Kenny Brannigan beat you. Kenny Brannigan decent. <laughs> Mate, Kenny Brannigan beat you, he beat me as well. He's still, Probably. I play six aside from him then again. Big Kenny, he still smashes you. I've heard he's even bigger than Big Kev. Oh, nah, he's so bad. He's the, uh, <laughs> uh, he's the proverbial guy. <laughs> Just the most Slaney, obviously. <laughs> right, that's us done by then. Eh? No way. <laughs> how, how long's that been? Has anyone got, has anyone been... Have we not got questions, no? Uh, we've got questions, eh? Yeah, they better not be there about me, because they'll be shite. Who's... <laughs> Who's wrote questions? Anyone put their hand up? It's anonymous. Anonymous, right, okay. Right, you ready for the first one? It's, um, is Slaney modelling himself on a young Frank McAvenny? <laughs> what a question, Slaney. <laughs> You'll be hoping you're doing as much damage as you do, boy, Whatever you do, do not slaughter Frank or we'll be rolling about. I love him. Not at all. Um, I will know. I don't base my style on anybody, but I, I, I love Frank to bits and certainly, um, the reputation he's got, I'm certainly now catching up side, so... <laughs> <laughs> who, who is more a ladies man, you or Frank McAvenny? I believe the two is at level par. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got the best years ahead of you, Mary, as he's done. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Frank still, um, he, he's in great form, Frank, and I still think... Has he got a missus? Yes. Oh, no, 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 Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> next question. Who was the best player James McFadden played with? Wow, wow. what a question that is. Aye, Sorry, I forgot, mate, before we do this, because Duncan Ferguson is a hero. It's Kev's hero. Oh, he's my hero. Gary Naismith today was... Br how good is he? Ah, he, was, he was brilliant. He was a brilliant football player. Great guy. Once you got to know him, he'd take his... He'd suss you out. He'd take a good few months to get to know you. Where's he from Stirling? Uh, I think so, aye. Yeah, Faddy, can I interrupt? Is he as fucking hard as what he, everybody thinks aye. he is? Aye. I love that shit. Is he an animal in the gym? I've seen him at the bunch, but... He was the first person in the gym, first person in the door, in the gym in the morning before training, go out and train. He, he, he couldn't run as much as he used to, but he, he was still brilliant. His touch was unbelievable. Two touch, beat anybody. Would he have? Uh, he was brilliant. Uh, finishing was a joke. His technique was brilliant. He was in the gym after training. He was... He was, a, he was a good pro towards the end. I don't know if that was something he learned later in life because you should try and get him on. He'd be a good, he's got a few stories that I wouldn't tell them just in case I'm not allowed he to. He'd maybe come <laughs> looking for me. Yeah. But a, a great guy, good, good professional, player brilliant player. Brilliant player, but 
Tell the story, you, you told us it off camera, but you never told in your interview about how much he loves the do's. Oh, what do's? The pigeon. Aye. <laughs> you know, sit on the back of the bus with a vest Aye, he sat, he, he, it was, he didn't have a phone. He had a phone, but he didn't always carry it about with him. He never knew where it was, it just used to turn up. And he'd, sometimes he'd go, wee man, give us a shot of your phone. And you're like, aye, all right, aye. And he'd just type a number in, phone it. Talk to somebody about do's, he'd get his book with do's, <laughs> just his vest on, no crit, can't pull his t-shirt. I put whatever it is, buy that one. I've looked in the book and it was like one of his mates was at the market, buying the do's or whatever it was they were doing. And then we went to, a, it was his son's christening and at his house and he's did these big gates. And as you went in the driveway, there was a like big sheds, but they were quite big. And he's like, man, I'll show you. And he'd, like underfloor heating for his doors. It was incredible. He'd just bring his pigeon book, no really talk that much, play cards now and again, but he was like, just. Was it everyone scared of uh, Aye. Gary Naismith told, I'll come out in a bit, the interview that one day he gave Duncan Ferguson a bit and Duncan Ferguson was going to rip his head Aye. off, man. Did you, ever, did you ever slaughter him that? Anyone ever, you ever no. seen anyone give him a <clears throat> No. No, I've never, I've seen, I think, I, did I tell you this the last time when he was, when we were playing, I don't think it was here, I told him, um, we were playing Charlton away, and he was on the bench with me, I'll get another one you like, uh, right, he was on the bench with me, and one, I, I, I think it was Harryderson, it might have been Kishishev, was running about kicking everybody, so every time he kicked somebody, big dunk go, yes. I think he is. <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck I, I know, I'm not going to argue with you. So he'd go and kick somebody again, he's like, you stay in my fucking head and I'm telling you. So he kept kicking all the players, so anyway, big dunk is on. The, the boy tries to get tight with him, he just goes, bang. And he falls like a domino. <laughs> Red card, big man just walks off. <laughs> What, how, how, what do you do about that? Oh, Fuck all. <laughs> Listen, that's us done. James McFadden, Paul Slayton, Kenny Gang. Thank you. 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 Thank you.